Hi friends, Radhika Vikuma here. So welcome back. In this, uh, in the previous tutorial, we were discussing about mutating triggers, and I had left it where uh, will we need to you know see how we can resolve those mutating triggers. So I have discussed regarding this program, and we have seen the mutating error also occurred. So now what we'll do is the main thing that you need to remember is in order to avoid the mutating trigger, you shouldn't make use of the triggering table for collecting the data or updating the data in the same table and that too when you are using this row level trigger okay that is when you are using this for each row you shouldn't do that when it comes to statement level that's not a problem because statement level uh, uh, statement level trigger you we know that uh, it is not like for each record the trigger doesn't get fired on it like it's like it's like only once the trigger gets fired for statement level right so when you are making use of a um, trigger which keeps on firing for each record then you need to be a little bit cautious okay so how we'll be resolving it is first of all you need to create a you know a global variable how do you create a global variable is say create or replace i'll make use of a package because this package you can you know whatever is there inside this we can make use of it externally also so i'm going to say this is a global uh, var okay is a cnt count okay then this is of pls integer type so i'm just uh, initializing it to zero so no junk values will occur Okay, that's it. Save this and we'll run it. Package got created. That is a. Uh, uh, it's nothing but we have created a. Uh, whatever you know the global variable. So now we are seeing the steps where we can overcome this problem. That is, I'm splitting the whatever the previous uh, program that I had right. This program. So this program and splitting it into some three division that is I'm converting it to a statement level uh, trigger so that we will not uh, encounter this mutating trigger. So for that first step what I did is I created a uh, global variable that is a CNT you can see it here CNT that's a PLS integer type. So next what you need to do is you need to create a trigger called uh, that's a statement level trigger okay uh, that I've already created over here. So I'll just copy paste and I'll just explain you guys what it is like. So you can see I've already created uh, where it's a uh, the uh, statement level trigger because we are not making use of the row each level. Sorry, uh, what do you call that row level trigger? For that we say it as for each row statement will be included, right? We are not making use of it. So what we are doing right here is uh, I've created a trigger called trigger one. And here the same thing before delete on employee. What this trigger does is simply collects the uh, data or collects the number of records that are present in the employee table before deleting and puts it into the variable called the CNT. You guys know that we have created a package and in that package we created a global variable. We are making use of the global variable and we are placing the records, whatever records that were present into this um, global variable in order to access the global variable how we need to use it is first you need to specify the package name and then the variable name we know the package name is gpack then the variable name is cnt sorry uh, the package name is not gpack i'm sorry it's uh, global underscore var okay so global underscore var dot uh, cnt okay then i'm just simply writing something like uh, this is the first statement uh, level triggering table whatever okay simply it's uh, to make sure that your trigger has been created okay. so now let me run this trigger got created okay now what the next uh, so one trigger we created that is this trigger uh, as we saw it is nothing but this trigger is mainly used to collect the data and place it in the uh, global variable so by creating the next trigger how to create the next trigger is you 
can see here what we are making use of the uh, how we are making use of the next trigger is we are creating a next trigger so, uh, write the same thing here and then insert it into the here this trigger is mainly used to whatever data that we have collected in the previous trigger by using our global variable that uh, we are making use of that global variable for inserting the records into the new table so i'll just change our package name to what is it it's a global underscore var okay and then inserting it to the new table and i'm displaying some some data over here then save it trigger got created now when uh, see now uh, we have splitted our whatever the program that was uh, resulting in mutating error into three different things the first thing is that we created a global variable and second thing is we created two triggers so one trigger is mainly used for collecting the data and the second trigger is mainly for inserting the data whatever by using the global variable into the new table okay that's what we did now when you try to delete the record from emp okay, let me just clear this off okay delete from emp where department number equal to 10 okay i need to drop the previously created uh, trigger and that's why the trigger name was um, okay what was the trigger name i forgot that mm, i guess it was uh, main underscore trick right yeah it got uh, deleted now uh, when i try to delete what happens is um, you can see the rows are getting deleted here what happened is uh, as my that row level trigger was still existing that's why we are getting this mutating trigger so still the the you know the employee the, the whatever the triggering this uh, main trigger was pointing to the employee table and that's why this trigger was fired okay so now i removed this uh, main trigger triggering table and uh, so that now it's making use of the new triggers that we have created the two triggers and one package okay so now when when you try to delete it from the employee table you can see it's getting deleted so this is how you need to uh, you know uh um, you know how this how we will be resolving the mutating error so hope you guys have understood if there are any queries regarding this then uh, please do mail me uh, whenever i'm free i'll try to revert back okay then my mail id is the pl sql dot informatica gmail dot com so stay tuned for more upcoming tutorials and thank you very much for watching and also please do uh, share my channel with your other friends who are in need who wants help on pl sql or sql or informatica and as well as unix operating system and uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, thanks for your support